Welcome back guys, let us talk about Emily Season 2, October Scissors. Guys, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't as we jump right into the video of today. And also, I've posted a um, lot of October Scissors. Don't forget to check them out on my channel. From 1st of October's episode, Emily gets into a fight with her fellow cellmate, but the police saves her before she gets harmed. Later, Anu goes out to receive Chini, who has been released. Really released from prison. On this episode 2nd of October, Chini plays a driver to cause an accident with Rudraska but Daria saves him and rushes him to the hospital. Later, Chini offers Daria to join hands. Tuesday's episode 3rd of October, Akash and Kia makes a plan to separate Atav and Imli and they anonymously cause them to the same place. Later, Daria rescues Imli from Kia's trap. Wednesday's episode 4th of October, Atav confronts Akash and Kia after the day of their Nefarious plan against him in letter, Daria gets worried when his mother rushes to meet Rudra. Fifth of October's episode. Emily offers to help Ataf organize a concert and the latter agrees to her plan. As for Daria and Chili plans to sabotage Emily's plan. Friday's episode 6 October, Ataf and Emily get surprised to see the audience growing rage. The runners blame Emily for the wrong dates on their concert ticket. Saturday's episode 7 October. Tormented by the chaos of the concert, Atav holds Ibn responsible for his failed career. Meanwhile, the runners get shocked to see the news about Atav. And Sunday's episode 8 October, Atav seeks forgiveness from Emily for his rude behavior. However, Daria swaps Rudra's pencil to show misunderstanding between Emily and Atav. 9th October Atav rebukes Emily for being careless and putting Rudra's life at risk. Sensing a conspiracy, Emily decides to find out the truth behind the inspired medicine. 10th October, Atav Dignity gets hurt as Emily makes the payment after they get out on dinner. Meanwhile, Emily grows suspicious after she gets the cab of the delivery boy. 11th October, Emily's, Emily's dons a disguise and visits Chini's house after believing her involvement in the mishap. Later, Chini tracks, Ch Later, Emily tracks Chini down as she attempts to flee. 12th October, while following Chini, Emily gets shocked to see Daria in CCTV footage of the medical shop. She confronts him for his plot against the runners. 13th October, the runners comes to Anu's house and inquires, and inquires Chini about Emily. As well, Emily is shocked to learn that Drudra is Daria's biological father. So this is the secret that I have been hiding. Which shall we, we know? Shall have done the spoiler for you guys. 14th October, Emily promises Daria to provide justice for his mother suffering. The runners um, arranges a surprise party where Atav plans to propose to Emily. 15th October, Emily grows worried as Daria um, decides to reveal his true identity. On the other hand, Rudra gets shocked to learn that he is Daria's biological father. Monday's episode 16th October, Daria is determined to acquire his and his mother's rights. Rudra tells Emily that he will regret his mistake. And visits Daria's house. 17th October, Daria calls Ataf to disclose his biological truths. Ataf expresses his love to Emily and they both consummate their love. So, also, their marriage consummation happened October. 18th of October's episode, Rudra gets upset when Emily brings Daria and Kala to the Rana house. Emily is shocked when Ataf overhears a conversation with Rudra. And I feel at this point, Emily, you overdid. Because wait a minute, you don't, what about your mother-in-law that is um, Devika? You don't care about her. Why would you go and bring um, um, Daria's mother to Rudra's family house to start staying with them? Knowing fully well that this person is this man's ex. And also that he has a wife. He has a child for Rudra. And you went and brought her back to stay in the Rana family house. You did not try now. You did not try at all. Because if... You are fighting for justice for the guy, like you said, so that they'll get their rights. Fine, you can fight the justice without bringing the guy that is Daria and Daria's mom to start living in the Rana family together with Devika and Rudra and Atav. Your in-laws as you are bringing other women to them. Even if you're not trying that one, she not like, but we'll continue. Let us see the aftermath of what happened. 19th October, the Rana's are shocked when she reveals that Daria is Rudra's son. Atav questions Emily for hiding the truth from him. 20th October, Devika is heartbroken. Why not? And expresses her grief for Rudra ditching her. She blames Emily for bringing Daria and Dara back into Rudra's life. Saturday's episode, 21st October, Tav walks out of the Rana house and Devika informs the Rana about Daria and Dara about Dara 
and Dari and stay in the house. The doctor announces that Emily is pregnant. So apparently, Emily is pregnant and Atav have left the family house with him because he is angry. Why would you go and bring these people to our house to stay? Which at that point is valid. You understand now Emily is pregnant and the husband have left out of anger. 22nd of October, Emily feels shattered when Atta faces a horrible accident. After nine months deep, Emily is shocked when Rudra tries to convince her for a second marriage. And Atta is dead. Due to Emily bringing back these people, Atta got angry and left. And now he had accidents and dies. And they sure have nine months deep. And Emily even gave birth. And the baby died as well. And now Rudra is convincing at, um, Emily to get married to Daria after Atta died. This doesn't make sense. Since the 3rd October, the runners are broken when the doctor asks them to choose between Emily and her baby's life. Emily is relieved that her baby is alive. For we are. 24th October, five years deep. Have, five years have passed, but Emily is still searching for her daughter. Determinedly, Emily gets emotional when the weaker questions that we are and her friendship. 25th October, Atav lives with his daughter far away from the runners. He tells Shini that he would do everything to keep the distance between his daughter and Emily. And apparently, the daughter was announced to be dead. But however, it was revealed that Atav kidnapped the daughter. I hope you guys are understanding this episode because I'm really taking time to explain all of this to you people. Because this, the episodes are complicated. The teasers are simple, but the episodes are complicated. The baby was announced to be dead. But the truth is that Atav kidnapped the baby and went and stayed with the baby together with Chini. So let us assume that Atav and Chini are now partners and are married at this point in the series. Um, 26th of October, Atav struggles to fulfill his daughter's birthday wish. Emily is ready to visit the summer camp to celebrate her daughter's birthday. 27th of October, Emily is surprised to hear a familiar voice. Emily rushes to the beach where Atav is struggling to raise money. 28th of October, Atav reminisces about past when he escaped with the baby and the way Chini helped him. Emily gets struck in traffic while taking a pregnant lady to the hospital. 29th October, Chini gets emotional and makes a shocking wish to Atav. Later, Atav feels dejected when he fails to fulfill Kairi's wish to visit summer camp. And the Kairi is actually their daughter's name. Monday's episode 30th October, the runners get worried as the vicar suddenly falls sick. Later, when Kairi leaves home alone at midnight, some suspicious people confront her with ill intention. 31st October, Kairi wanders towards Emily's camp at night. We have some girls trying to adopt her. Emily comes to Kyrie's rescue and decides to bring her to the camp. What do you guys think about this October on Emily from the leap to the separation to the truth coming out to Emily pregnancy to Emily giving birth to everything that I've explained? Do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time. And bye guys.